Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you for joining me. Today we're gonna to talk all about listing and it's part four in my series, eBay 101. I have the playlist, I will link it here with three previous videos and then at the end of the video I will also link it. But it's just a way to help you if you just are brand new to selling online, a way to help you get started maybe a blueprint for how you can get your business going. But listing is extremely important and it can be a little bit daunting, especially with eBay and so many item specifics. So we're gonna get into that today. There are a lot of different ways to list and there are pros and cons to each of them. Some people list from their phone, some people create a draft, photograph from their phone, and then finish the listing on the computer. Some people list just from their desktop. I think I've tried all of those and there are benefits to listing on your phone. I think one of them is you can list on the go as you're out and about. And that was really handy for me when I was first starting, when my kids were little, I could go to the park, take them to somewhere like a museum, have them play in the play area, and then throw up a few listings while they were just playing. If we went to the splash pad, same thing. I could pull up my listings on my phone and just list real quick. I don't think it's the fastest way. I do think it's really easy, but I don't think it's the fastest way. When it comes to listing on your phone, you're kind of locked in at about five minutes per listing. And that limits you to 20 listings an hour, and I think that's even generous. I think you can actually list a lot faster than that with just a desktop. And just as a disclaimer, I do use a third-party software to list my items. It only works for Mac and Apple products, Mac, MacBook, iMac. So I'm actually gonna be doing a separate video all about how I do that, so stay tuned for that. For now, this is gonna be the more standard and basic way to list your items on eBay as quickly and efficiently as possible. eBay lets you set up templates in your store, like a shipping template, a return settings template. I do have those activated in my store and I can show you a little bit overview of how those work. So here's my listing method. I take all of my photographs on my phone and it's just an easy and simple way. Again, it gives me the option if I'm out and about and I need to throw up a few listings, I can do it from my phone, but it's also really convenient and easy to then airdrop everything from my phone. Again, I have an iPhone and I use an iMac. Airdrop everything from my phone to my Mac and then it's all there, ready to go, ready for me to list. You know, I don't have to mess with SD cards or anything like that and then once I have airdropped everything over to my iMac and I'm done listing, I can then drag it all <laughs> to the garbage and delete it and be done. And then once I am in eBay, I will look up a similar item. Most of the items I sell, clothing, shoes, and accessories have a similar item that was sold. I look up a comp that way. I sell similar from that listing. It already populates with a pretty good title. I might tweak it here and there. You upload the pictures, I'll put in the SKU, the custom label SKU that lets me know which bin it's in, tinker with some item specifics, size, condition, that kind of thing. Make sure that I have my template settings, my shipping settings, and my return settings already in there. Although I have found that when you are selling similar, eBay kind of already populates what you normally do with your listings, so it's pretty simple. And if you have something that's extremely similar to what you are already selling, you can just go into your own listings and sell similar from there. But I really do think selling similar is faster and easier than just starting from scratch with your own listing. You have to pick the category, you have to pick the title, type it all out, you have to put in every single item specific, it's just a little bit tedious. Of course that can happen, you might have to build a listing from scratch if you don't have any comps at all, but I rarely come across that. I, most of the time I find a very similar sold comp and I just use that listing to build off of. And then like I talked about in my previous video about inventory, I already have my inventory put away, I know the bid number, I can list everything from there, and once I'm done with the listing itself, I'm done and I don't have to think about it anymore. So now let me take you to my computer and let's go ahead and do some hands-on examples of how to list and how I think you can list the most efficient way. Okay, so here we are on my computer, ready to go with some listings. I have some photographs here on the right-hand side of my screen and these photographs are ones that I have airdropped over from my phone that I can now just list on my desktop. And I'll just show you, a, give an example, you know, kind of give an overview in the video previously to this, but let's just go ahead and do some examples. I have some Keen toddler sandals that I am selling. They are my boys from when they were little and I'm gonna go ahead and look for something similar. So I'm just gonna type that in. Toddler sandal size 13, perfect. These look like they're just about very similar to the ones that I have. I'm gonna click on this listing and then go click on sell now because I have one very similar. Once I do that, it will populate the title for me and then all I have to do, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the photos because I will tinker with the title a little bit. I like to always put Keen in the size, the brand in the size right away. Sandals in the beginning as well. 
And I'm going to put waterproof too because they are. Okay. And let's go ahead. Check my photos. Those are fine. Pre-owned condition description. I'll put good pre-owned condition. And just double checking that all of the item specifics, even though I've populated it and it should be similar, just making sure that they look all right. Really the more item specifics that you can add, the better. Even if you don't know all of them, you can just continue to fill them out. Just as many as you can. And then for the item description, you can just put in the title again because search does look through the item description that will help pull up your search a little bit more easily for people. I've pasted in for my description the title again because search does look there as well as a very generic, you know, I accept returns and I photograph my measurements, new items added daily to my store, etc. And now I'll just select for my shipping template. I'll price these at $14.99. I do allow buyers to make best offer. And I have templates for all of my items. I have a ton of shipping policies and templates that I've created in eBay. This one right now is just because I'm having a baby really soon. So I have extended handling time and a very flat $8.99 fee for everything that I have just to make it simpler for me. So I have this set to handling time increase. You can of course manually edit any shipping policy that you want um, whenever you want to. I've just found it's easy to then select, you know, if I have something that's a sweatshirt, a shirt, a pant, sweatshirt, shirts, pants, I can go into my shipping policy, select that specific shipping policy. It's got the right price, it's got the right shipping time, and the right packaging, package weight, package price, and it's just much easier that way. I will show you right after I list this how to go into your business policies and edit your shipping templates if you want to set those up. My payment policy is also, I use managed payments and then I also require immediate payment if someone does something like buy it now. However, if someone makes an offer and you accept that offer, that doesn't really apply. You can't get immediate payment from someone by accepting their offer. You just have to wait until they are ready to pay you, which is kind of annoying, but it's just something that you kind of get used to with eBay. I also don't weigh my items before I list them. Again, $8.99 will easily cover the cost of shipping these shoes. My shipping policy that I have highlighted here will cover, again, it's $8.99, it will cover the fee to ship these shoes. I don't need to weigh them because I already know they're gonna be in a padded flat rate or maybe a little bit less depending on how heavy they are and my $8.99 fee will cover my shipping costs. So I don't ever weigh, I just weigh at the time of shipping and that's just, again, that's how I do it. You can of course weigh right away if you want to. Something that I've noticed though is when I weigh ahead of time and then I do calculated shipping, it ends up always being more expensive for the buyer and that can be a turnoff. So that's kind of the reason that I have templates and fees already structured into those templates because I know that I can get a better price than eBay's calculated fee will tell the buyer. <laughs> And I do that again using pirate ship usually. I do use promoted listings. I'll promote these at 5%. I think that's a good, you can boost your promoted listings a little bit more, a little bit less, but I have found that that's a really easy way to get a few more sales. And now I'm ready to go. I will list this item. Okay, as you can see, that listing is done. So if I go into my eBay and I select business policies, I can see all of my shipping policies here. I could probably delete a bunch of them. <laughs> I have a ton. As you can see here, I have a return policy that says no returns accepted. And that happens when I have like a really expensive item or something that's more unique that I don't want returned. For payment, I have managed payments. And even though this payment right here says PayPal, it actually does default to managed payments. So I don't even know why that's there. Clearly you can see I need to edit these, but there are certain ones that I use all the time and certain ones that I don't. I use USPS priority for shoes. So $10, one business day handling for shoes, $6 for sweaters. Uh, long sleeve tops, $5 for shirts or anything that I think will be a first class package. And again, as you can see, pretty much all of my listings have handling time increased because again, I'm having a baby. So that's my, I have a five day business handling time there. You can also create like, you know, a vacation profile for yourself and then just put all of your listings on that vacation profile, mass edit them, and then you have extended handling. You don't have to shut down your store. You can just increase your handling time by three to five days. And when you get back, you can ship all of your orders. Pretty much all of my items have returns accepted, 30 day window, I pay return shipping. But again, like I said, some have no returns accepted, so I have templates for that. So in your business policies, you can edit and create any templates that you want. And it really does make things a little bit easier when you are listing your items. You can just select the policy that you want and move on. Now let's go back and look for 
something else that we're gonna list. So I have the next item here. Let's pick something easy. <laughs> I have those Vibram five finger shoes, women's size 41. Let's see if they pull up. Here we go. Here we go, I have some that look just like the ones I'm trying to sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and select sell now. And it even has the same style number, so this is great. This will be very easy. I'm just gonna fix the title a little bit. All right, so I fixed the title a little bit again. I like to put in the brand name, then the size, and then a few more things about it. I'm gonna put good pre-owned condition, and then add my photos. I just turned that one around so it's a little bit easier for the buyer to see. It's a size nine, really. What is a size 41? Nine or 10. And then fill out some additional item specifics. Style code is W356. And then again, for the description, I'll just put in the title and then add that quick description I have in my notes. There you go, you guys. I hope that helped you with a really quick and easy listing method. I do think this is the fastest way. You can really knock out a ton of listings quickly this way, especially if you're really streamlined with your photographing process. You're learning quickly to airdrop them over to your computer. You can find something similar, sell similar. The item specifics are already pre-populated for you. And then you can promote, do your own shipping templates if you want to, your return templates. I do find that templates make my life a lot easier. So I think that it's something if you're not doing, I would recommend. Again, this is just the way that I list. It doesn't mean it's the way you have to, but I do think it's a really good way if you're just starting or if you want a really streamlined and simple way to get things going. Thanks again, you guys. I really am so glad you were here today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Take care and I will catch you next time.